Welcome to Storm Runner 1.6, codename Frogger. In this tutorial, we are going to walk through the process of setting up SiteScope on-prem monitoring. We'll start by setting up a data integration in SiteScope. Let's add a new data integration. Let's name the data integration and specify the URL of the SiteScope agent that will receive the data from SiteScope. Ensure that the Disable Integration checkbox is not selected. Let's also add a tag to the data integration and give it a value. Let's associate that tag with your monitor group. Next, we are going to install the SiteScope agent components on the machine designated for the SiteScope agent. This folder contains the contents extracted from the zip file provided by the customer service representative. First, we install Node.js. Now, let's install the SiteScope agent files. These files are extracted to the SiteScope underscore storm agent folder. Let's configure the SiteScope agent. Let's open the SiteScope configuration file, SiteScope underscore sample underscore conf dot JSON in a text editor. Let's enter an identifying key for the SiteScope agent. Let's specify the logging level. And enter our Storm Runner user credentials and our tenant ID. Finally, let's enter the port of our SiteScope server. If the SiteScope agent machine cannot directly access the Internet, we need to update the proxy URL in the agent launcher file. Let's open the agent launcher file, SiteScope underscore start underscore storm agent dot CMD in a text editor. On the second level, let's remove the REM and enter our proxies URL appending HTTP or HTTPS where appropriate to the beginning of the URL. Notice the format. HTTP, your proxies URL, followed by the port. Let's save and close the file and create a shortcut on our desktop. Now let's start the SiteScope agent. Let's set up the SiteScope on-premise monitor in StormRunner. Let's add a monitor. We'll select SiteScope on-prem and select our SiteScope agent. Let's select some metrics.
and give our monitor a name. Now, let's define a load test that uses this monitor. We'll add the monitor from our assets. Next, let's add a script. Set a duration for the test and run the test. You can see that the test is running. Let's look at the graphs for our monitor. Let's click the widget selector and select metrics from our monitor. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment on the YouTube page for this video. For more helpful tutorials, visit our YouTube channel.